CBS 11 I team investigation has found car accidents caused by stray cattle and horses to be on the rise here in North Texas. Those accidents can often cause thousands of dollars in damage, and in some cases, they can be deadly. Investigative reporter Brian New joining us tonight. And Brian, I know looking into this, you found laws determining who's liable to be pretty unclear. Yeah, unclear, confusing, and in some cases, unknown. Texas is an open range state. That means ranchers are not required to fence in their livestock. This also means livestock actually have the right of way on county roads. But there are exceptions to the state law. In fact, there are hundreds of them. Over the years, counties have passed what's known as stock laws. Now, these stock laws determine where ranchers must fence in their livestock. But here in North Texas, we found many of the county's stock laws haven't been updated in more than a century. And then when we asked some North Texas counties for a copy of their stock law, no one at the county could even find it. It is the hardest thing to find. As I've been a lawyer for over 15 years, and it is literally the hardest law to find and determine what the a definitive answer on. So tonight at 10, we're going to tell you why having a definitive answer on this law can be so important to some, as we'll share the story of this North Texas woman whose husband was recently killed in Iraq. Doug Gilma, this woman actually had reached out to us in hopes that maybe the law will be updated to prevent some of the, the just some of the trauma that she had to endure and some of the confusion that she had to endure. She just doesn't want to see other people have to go through right, that. Right, and for people who are new to the area, you know, it's it's our reality here encountering livestock mm -hmm. in some places. At yeah, some you time. don't That's, have to be far out. Yeah, you know, there's Dallas County, Tarrant County, Collin County, Denton County, all the counties. It impacts everyone. Look forward to seeing it tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Brian. Thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. And if you have a question or something for Brian and the I team to look into, get in touch with them. The email address there on the screen, iteam at ktvt.com.